Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk a special feature from 1.5 version called var argument thread. So, if we don't know how many arguments we'll have to pass to the method, then the best approach is var argument thread. So, before var argument thread, we used to go for uh, overloading. So, what is the advantage of this var argument thread is, as we are avoiding overloading, so code is going to be very less so that is not required to write overload methods so it will become what less code now see the syntax to write the var argument method so return type and a method name followed by data type so here see here three dots are there so if you write these three dots then it will become var argument method so internally it behaves like a single dimensional array so in the Previous video I discussed like uh, the main method signature public static void main uh, here I have, we are writing like a uh, string array args right so if we want uh, we can do it in this way as well if we want uh, we can do it instead of this one dot 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 this is also valid that is internally it is going to be like it is going to be behave like a single dimensional array now let me write a sample example and then we'll discuss about the points on var arg method. Now, see here, let me create a class. I'm writing var arg test. Now, take one class, class var arg one. So, I'm writing here public void uh, some dummy methods i'm taking hello now here i'm writing just writing in the a now let me print s y s of one parameter plus i'm printing some a now let me write one where are the method public void uh, hello now int dot 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 a now it is going to behave like a var argument now here i am writing s y s o of var arg method now let me write internal it behaves like a one dimensional array right so for uh, int i is equal to zero i less than a dot sorry a dot length i plus plus now print s y s o of i now see here so let me write the main method here so let me write the main method now create object for this class now var arc something one is equal to new work now see here i am calling one dot hello one dot hello i am passing 56 56 now see here now i am calling hello on one one is of type where go object now in this class is there any hello method with one parameter yes sir now this method is going to be executed now see here, let me comment out this method. Let me comment out this method. Now see here, that is where arg method is going to be executed uh, with uh, zero or multiple argument. That is the where arg method allows us uh, by to passing by passing zero or multiple arguments or parameters. Now see here, I am passing one argument. Now see here, where arg method is going to be executed. Right click on as Java application. Yes, where arg method with the zero parameters now what i'm doing just observe here now instead of i here let me print a of i now see here what i'm doing now i'm passing zero arguments now i'm passing zero arguments no problem at all right click run as java application now see here where are the method with zero parameters now I am passing one dot hello and I am passing 
10, 20, 65, 56. Now see here. So is there any hollow method with four arguments? Not there. But still, where argument method is going to be executed. That is, we can call where argument methods by passing zero parameters, one parameter, or any number of parameters because internet is going to be used like a what single dimensional array now it is of type what into type now see here what i'm doing as you know that arrays allows only homogeneous type of elements now see here what i'm doing one dot hello of i'm passing 12.56 now see here so we are getting what here compile time error because it is of type what it is always going to take into type but not what double type that's why we are getting compile time error because arrays are homogeneous it can hold up only what a similar type of elements same type of elements if we are specifying other than that uh, we will get a compile time error yes now this is where method and let me write one normal method one method so i'm writing one method so if you are having a normal method and with where method always the priority goes to highest priority goes to normal method if the exact match is not there then only where argument method is going to be executed see here in the first case in the first case hello method is there with one into parameter so first this method is going to be executed but not uh, where argument method is not going to be executed now hello method is there is there any hello method with zero parameters not there now where argument method is going to be executed now I am calling hello with four parameters. Is there an exact match? Not there. Now the priority goes to what? Where arg method. That is, where arg method is going to get the least priority. So can we overload a where arg method? Yes, sir. It seems like what? Overloading or not? Yes. We can overload the where arg method. When it comes to overriding, so extends where arg one. Now see here, we can overload, override um, a where arg method only, but uh, we cannot override them uh, with a normal method. Otherwise, it will become what? Overloading, but not overriding. Now see here, what I am doing? Now as it is, I am writing here. Let me copy and paste here. Control V. Now let me annotate with override we won't get any problem that is we can override the where arg method right so when we are having normal methods with where arg method always the priority goes to exact match that is normal method and if the exact match is not there then only where arg method is going to be executed so the main agenda of this where arg method is we can pass uh, zero number of parameters and any number of parameters zero one two three any number of parameters so by using this where arg method we can avoid what overloading so the length of the code is going to be decreased so thanks for watching the video have a good day